What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Thursday weekly roundup. And we're going to go through this quickly because there's a bit to get through, a bit to talk about. The biggest one is obviously the fact that they have put on a new free period of progression points reset. So what does that mean? Is that it was meant to end today, but it is now two months extra that you will be able to reset your players for free. So yeah, I mean, that was a bit of a strange one, but we'll get into that in a second. And we also will take a look at the new players. Just give you a weekly roundup of it if you're not at your console or you want to see what's new, right? So starting with the Football League, that is the divisions, obviously. Um, that has been reset. So phase one has begun. This is the phase one of eFootball 2024, right? So the rewards, as far as I can see, are still the same. Everything is still the same. Um, it doesn't say much here uh, other than, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, first time for Division 1, Division 2, you're going to get GP. I mean, it's it's crazy how little you get. Now, we're back from Division 1 to Division 3. Um, so that is on, this is on our main profile, okay? Events-wise, then, you have got the same rinse and repeat. You've got the Starter Cup still ongoing for another couple of days. You've got the Japanese clubs versus the AI match, and that's going to get you your free Player of the Week worldwide event. Uh, bonus boost uh, card, whatever you want to call it. Golden Gold is going to get you trainers. You've got the Japanese clubs. You've got the Spanish clubs still ongoing. You've got the Spanish clubs against the users and AI still ongoing, and the rest of them there. The Victory Run is, is only going on for another week as well if you want to do that. But that's basically all the events, lads. We know what we're getting and it's very little in terms of events or content in terms of modes. Um, other than that, it's all about the cards and it's all about a couple of other bits and pieces. So we did already talk about the free progression points. This has been extended for two months. So this, this was meant to end today. So I did a video yesterday where it was like reminding you. We did a stream yesterday where I was reminding you and saying, listen, reset all your players. So what I did last night um, before I went to bed was basically um, go into all of my players here and reset all their stats uh, so that I would be able to essentially um, have them free, you know, to, to level up at my leisure, right? So for example, we reset Messi and all of these players. So at the moment, if you want to reset your player, it is going to cost you, I don't know, like whatever money it costs you, right? Um, if you were to just use the points there, and then reset the player. It was going to be costing 600,000 as of today. That has now been pushed back until uh, two months. So it's going to be bringing us into the next big update. Now, I think that that date could be very, very important based on what changes will come to Dream Team around that time, which we'll get into in the live stream today. But you can continue to reset and train players as much as you like for free and reset them all as long as you have um, that period open, which is until November. So it's pushed back from November uh, to November, right? We also have a couple of new bits and pieces that they talk about here, right? So they talk about these match rolls and they talk about that there was a, a, a mix up with the match rolls in the stats display um, where they go into a little bit more detail here um, with the boosters, right? So they talk about a player related stat issue increases are not reflected under each of the following circumstances case one and case two. Case one was player stat increases are not implied on on field players with a normal condition while their stamina gauge is at 66% or above. It's only triggered if the selected manager has a team playstyle proficiency of 65 to 79 and it increases the curl. Player stats are not implied when players are elected to take a direct shot or play a lofted ball. So they weren't actually getting the boost essentially with that they said that they plan on fixing with that and giving contract renewals and they said that in view of this that is why they've extended the free period of um free player reset progression and listen i think the free player progression that needs to be looked at right i think that that's a really key part of the game buying and training players and yeah, I know that you need to make GP be viable, that it's actually worth grinding GP, and I like that. But yeah, they definitely need to look at that because retraining players and testing them out is a huge part of what I do on the channel. I could retrain a player and reset him 20 times when I'm doing a review of a player, right? So yeah, they also have the match pass reminder that that is ending soon, so you get 50% off. And they also talk about the server, which we had as well. That server was still there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Onto the actual cards themselves, right? So we, I've already got this video done, the player of the week. You have your J-League monthly VIPs, right? So that's in a, ba a batch of players here where you have to train up the cards. Um, that's in the cards here with the AMF uh, at 77, a CB at 77, and a right midfielder at 77. But there's a load of cards in this one here. 
listen, at this stage in the game, some of these cards are going to be absolute machines um, with really good player stats, and they've got the booster on them. These are the first cards that we're actually seeing with boosters that are non-epics. So this will tell you where it's kind of going. Um, you can see that these players here that are shiny here, I'll just show you, have actually got, they're, they're, they're essentially Showtime. They are calling them Showtime, but they have got a mixture of boosters and unique player skills. So you can see here that he has actually got momentum dribbling on this guy, Marcus Jr. He's got momentum dribbling, which was a Showtime uh, unique player skill. He's got that, but he's also got the booster. So that's going to be his base stats there, which will improve his ball control dribbling type position and low pass. And that's where you go with it. So I'm going to do a review on them. They are good players, especially with the player skills when you start to bring those in. Super sub, sombrero, first time shot, low loft to pass. This guy is going to be a machine as an attacking midfielder with 39 levels to go. So this is going to change the meta quite a bit, I think, with the boosters on these cards. So yeah, and you can clear that box. I mean, there's 100 players in that box. You could clear that box very, very simply and have all of these players that are boosters, man. It's... Yeah, look, we will talk about it later on in the stream, right? We also covered the player of the weeks here. So these are the player of the weeks in case you haven't logged in yet and seen it. Fairly average player of the week selection. The player of the weeks have been getting worse and worse, in my opinion. There's always one or two worth spinning for, like Matoma's got super sub. I've covered that in a review as well. And then, of course, we do have the European Club Championship players as well. So this is quite interesting. I will do a review on them as well. These players are what you see. They're, uh, you don't need to um, train them up or additional skills can't be given to them. They basically are just finished uh, versions of the cards. You've got Trossard, you've got Felix, you've got Rudiger. I think this Rudiger card, I heard that there was a really beastly Rudiger card coming. This looks like it, even though he's on D form this week. Um, that will change. But you've got some of the rest of the players, like uh, Hakimi's on A form. You've got Tell, Mendes on A form. This Tell card looks really good as a left midfielder. 98 acceleration, 91 dribbling, and 83 finishing. He can play CF as well. Um, so there's a lot of interesting cards there to say the least we'll get to that as well Alvarez has been a slept on player for ages because he's a bit slow but he is an absolute insane hold player as an AMF so that's going to be a beastly card as well and he has all the player skills that you want um, and then on top of that as well we have all of these still ongoing so these are still ongoing here all of these cards here they will be ending quite soon including the new captain's nominating contract which will end and that'll be replaced in a week's time so this day next week um that's when they'll be all exchanged right other than that lads that's pretty much it man i won't keep it too much longer than that you've new objectives you've new stuff like that the match pass of course is ending on the 5th of um october so that is going to be next week next thursday that's going to end and that'll be recycled in as well so tr do try finish that off and then also with the e-football points here in the shop with the players we don't have any new players so uh the last player was garrett barry and these players end in six days. I reckon we'll get a new player in about next week um, to tie us in with that with the match pass and stuff. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the live stream later today if you want. And I will talk to you in a bit. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.